life is like a box of wither skeletons. You never know who's gonna get. You can either get them, or they'll get you. Who's it gonna be? Everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Today we are starting off our episode over at our new nether base where we've been setting up some nether farms like the dual blaze farm over there and also our new crazy amazing <laughs> uh, triple intersection wither skeleton farm over here. Uh, starting off with you'll notice the lava columns coming down. There's 12 of those throughout the whole uh, farm here. And those provide enough light to stop wither skeletons from spawning. They need a light level of uh, 7 or less to spawn. And if, if it's too bright, they can't. And then nothing else can spawn on the wither roses, so it like totally stops all spawns on the platform here. Uh, so we click this to turn it on. That sends a signal up a redstone wire, and that leads up to the dispensers with the lava buckets in up here. So... It comes up to here, and then wire runs along the top, goes to each and every one of these dispensers. They got the lava buckets in, so they can place it or pick it up. And then you can see we got some holes, just one by one holes underneath the dispensers that the lava flows down. And then these glass blocks around it are just to keep it from spreading when it comes out of the dispenser. When the lava disappears, it becomes dark enough for the wither skeletons to spawn, and then they chase the piglins trapped in between these trap doors and then there's two fall chambers one on each side these guys are name tags so we don't have to worry about them despawning and we have two walls here to make sure they have enough space for two wither skeletons to fit down this area they try to walk on the trap door and then they fall down Whoop! land on top of a twisting vine and then get pushed down again to the dogs and i'm trapped oh Wait a second, I forgot I got the lava out. <laughs> uh, this is drink of fire resistance. Okay, now we can go through. I should shut that off. <laughs> the on off switch also turns on and off a clock that runs and controls the whole system up over here. This is a regular clock, it goes around on a loop here. And then there's a monostable circuits to turn it into a four tick pulse. Um, these are to sandwich the mobs down from a, like a block and a half space here between the two walls. They get pushed forward against some trap doors and then these two squeeze them together and they fall down a one by one chamber of glass there. Also, we used to have some hay bales here, but we switched that over to a twisting vine to negate fall damage completely. They land on that and they kind of float on it. They don't hit the ground. And then the wither skeletons, they fall down. They land right above our wolf friends, which finish them off. You can see there's a trap door right there that the wolves are kind of in, as well as another one below them to hold the minecart up. And that leaves a bit of a space for items to fall down. Anything that doesn't fall, these pistons will push off of the trap doors and hopefully fall down below. And then another set pushes them towards the middle. So the items and XP orbs kind of get put together at these three blocks here. And then these two pistons sandwich them to the middle. And then the middle gets pushed by a slime block launcher down the ice to the center from bo both sides. They also get sandwiched in the middle chamber. Everything falls down here except for the stuff that somehow makes its way out. <laughs> There's a couple items that uh, get lost with this. Uh, they land on top of the end rod here. Any items on the end rod get picked up by the hopper. And then XP orbs are about half a block in size, so that means this piston can push them when they're on top of the end rod. They also are too big to fit between that space there. So it pushes them into the lava. Which is a big important thing because if we don't do that and I'm not at the farm, it gets extremely laggy because <laughs> there's so many XP orbs. But if we want to collect them actually, we can shut this off with the lava. 
getting picked up by a dispenser, and then they'll start falling down in the middle here. And then finally on our tour, we have ourselves a lovely little hangout room here where we can collect our XP and our items and all the good stuff that's automatically collected for us. We can do some enchanting. We got uh, two sets of item filters. So this runs at double hopper speed because one wasn't quite enough, I don't think. So one hopper goes one way to the left here, one goes the other way. And then we got item filters hidden back here to split the stuff up so we got the wither skeleton coal and two things for bones because those are the most common thing you get from these guys and then all the stone swords get put in this dropper and ejected into lava and yeah i haven't even really used the farm yet this is all accumulated while building it but we've gotten so many bones and coal wither skeleton skulls galore i've taken a couple loads over to our, our main base in the overworld as well and then I got these to bring back with me, and there's just so much stuff, it's insane. <laughs> and yeah, I'm very happy to say this, I think the Wither Skeleton Farm is finished! <laughs> and working almost perfectly. There's no dead spots where the Wither Skeletons get stuck on the spawning pads or on their way down here. The only one mistake I still might try to fix is sometimes you'll see when they fall, they'll instantly die while the other ones are down to a one-hit kill. It's like 50-50s. Some of them die, some of them don't. Come in, knock, knock. <laughs> nah, you did it again, you little... Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I know. Okay, come. Come. Open the door. Come on in. Hey, we need hey. to have a chat. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Oh, everything is great. Everything, good. Is, good. everything is wonderful, Beef. What, what are you doing? Don't look. No, no. Just, Just sit looking down. around. Take, take a seat. You got to do the banner. I do. Yeah, did you like the banner? It's pretty huh? cool. I don't like the yellow, but the other... The llama's but, good. But the yellow's like gold. It's like a gold It's like thing. eternal sunshine. Nobody's gonna want that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, that <laughs> wallpaper is genius. I don't care what oh, you Oh yeah, it's a great idea, Beef. Yeah, that's why you sold so It's many. gonna sell like hotcakes. Don't worry. I just I'm a little worried you being at the head of the business on our, our business here. With decisions like that, Beef. I don't know. Do you know how many hundreds of diamonds I've made with all my other businesses? Eternal Sunshine is just a blip in the road. Okay, okay. okay. Speaking of blips, Etho, I had a blip the other day when I opened a couple of my chests. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, do you see what I'm holding here? Nope. You might need to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're okay. pretty short. Okay, that's for some reason when I dismount, oh. I end up behind my... Yeah, you see this? That that looks like glass. Yeah. This! This, Etho! What is this? I found this all up in my chests. Free glass. Who did it? This Who's is... is it? Huh? I mean, it's anybody's. It's free. Right? How did it get there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought we had a deal. Oh, you... No, this isn't for me. Where, where you did you find this? In my chest. It was even in Three Fox Hole. It was in my chests everywhere. Uh, every single chest. You're definitely sure this wasn't you. It wasn't me, Beef. Right. You didn't have like a crazy night out where you drank too much chocolate milk and now you can't remember what happened. I'm looking into your eyes to see if you're lying to me. Just to be clear, snitches get riches, right? Yes. Okay. I went over to Three Fox Hole. Yeah. And I'm the one that placed the diamond. Oh. Yeah. But I Thanks. did not place the free glass. <laughs> well, I appreciate the diamond. So you did not place the... Okay. Huh. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to meet me. I, I, I gotta I say, like I'm a little to... disappointed that you would even think I would have something to do with that beef. Like... Well, I mean... it. I gave listen, you my word. Can you Can you see what's written on this? Does that not look familiar to you? It, it does look like my brand, I gotta say. It's, yeah. It's exact. Yeah. So somebody's out there imitating you. Huh. Yeah. And I have a feeling... I actually don't have a problem with that, to be honest. Well, I, you should have a problem. Oh? He's gonna take your... He's taking your thing, man. No, he's promoting it. It's good. You know, I wasn't gonna do this. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man! Double hit! <laughs> <laughs> the you're mind card. You still didn't die. I gotta put one more, uh, one more oh. anvil up there, and I think it'll do it. I got me down to, I think two hearts. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming by. 
<laughs> I can't believe. No, don't you dare do this. <laughs> oh, my God. Calls me into uh, his office to accuse me. I snitch and he doesn't give me rich. Oh, I don't know about this meeting. I didn't have I didn't have any riches to give you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take something I'll on the way out. Up. It's fine. Okay, fine. Grab, take, grab a stack I'm of I'm going to take this plant. My plant now. <laughs> He's taking his plant. All right. Well, thanks for coming. I need to find out. I feel like I have an idea who did it. And um, yeah, let's just say I have my eyes on him. My okay. My large, my large eyes. Beef on him. Yeah. You know what Y E S spells, right? Yes. What does E Y E S spell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snappers. Well, wasn't that an interesting meeting? So somewhere, somebody is distributing free glass to beef, and it's most likely probably not me. Who could it be? Is it a problem for me? What do you guys think? You know, beef seems to think it is. But, like, if they're giving away the free glass, they're doing all the work. And I don't have to do anything, and I still got the profits. That seems like a win-win to me. <laughs> they get their revenge on beef. I get the I get the profits. I don't have to do anything. I like that. The only downside is I lose a little bit of control over my business, but I think that's fine. Speaking of business, we should try start up a new one today. A new shop in the shopping district. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it. We really only have two stores at the moment. We got the Ice E's and the Shady E's, and a couple half ownerships and the Stat Poker and the the music box store, but that's not enough. You know, with the Wither Skeleton Farm, we're getting all kinds of goods. We got nowhere to sell them. I think it's it's finally time, guys. The time is prime for the Sneaky Ease. The first order of business to setting up Sneaky Ease is we gotta get some stock to sell. So that means we gotta get these Wither Skulls converted into beacons. Ooh. Our second step is going to be scouring the end for building materials for our shop. We want some crazy material, something that will make our store stand out from the competition. Or, actually, we want it to stand out by not standing out. And where better to get those materials than the end cities? Step 3. Market research. What's the competition doing? How do we beat them? What are their prices? We gotta figure these sorts of things out. They're empty. They got nothing left. Oh, that's, that's a good sign. Prime time for the sneaky ease, I tell ya. One diamond block each. Okay, we got it. Beacons aren't the only thing we're going to be selling, though, guys. Let's figure out the other competitions here. Two diamonds per stack, huh? Everybody in town is our competition. How do we deal with them? Blow them up. Nope, we can't do that. Mayor Scar would shut us down so fast if we blew up another shop. Why don't we just charge less than them, then? That's a good idea, but not good enough. Think about it. We charge less, they charge less. We charge less, they charge less. We charge less. Eventually, it gets to the point where we're giving away our stuff and nobody's taking it. That's not going to work either. Oh, dear. <clears throat> yeah, I like to bounce off of Iskiel's slime shop. I do it all the time. Uh, that's the first time I've missed it, though. <laughs> uh-huh. Normally, it's pretty fun just doing that. Uh, but yeah, I think the secret sauce to Sneaky Ease is going to be... Ethonomics 101. What is that? I, by combining the best prices in town, guys, with scarcity, we're going to have the hottest shop. Everybody's going to shop there. And we won't have to worry about our competition lowering their prices. We're going to maximize our profits that way. So, like, we have a full stack of beacons. We're not going to sell the full stack. No, no, no. We only sell maybe, maybe nine or so, maybe a little bit more than that. And then when we run out of stock, we don't restock. Nope, we're out. That's it. People gotta buy them while we got them. Hot prices, you know? Uh-huh. That drives, that drives people to buy, even when they don't need stuff, too. It's genius. <laughs> uh-huh. And then Impulse is like, oh, he's out of beacons. I don't have to worry about him competing with me anymore. And we move on and we sell some different material. That's the trick. That way we always have stock. And we compete with everybody in town. We take a little bit of market share out of everybody. And uh, we don't have to worry about prices dropping. Now, the final piece of the puzzle is going to be how do we bypass Mayor Scar? Oh, 
<laughs> Don't get me wrong, guys. Mayor Scar has been doing amazing things around the shopping district. He's building roads. He's building gardens, and it's incredible. But uh, he is a little bit money hungry, a little bit wasteful with the diamonds, and um, he's demanding more. Look at this. He's setting up a rules board here. Cub rule. All shops must have an ender chest. You know, that's, that's reasonable. All shops must pay for road access pass to connect to the road network. RAP available in the town hall. It was one diamond block, guys. We got to pay for our land. We got to pay for roads. What's next? Right? We got to pay for garbage disposal. Natural gas hookup fees, water, it's never ending, I tell you. He's going he's gonna to siphon all our funds. So how do we get around that? By being sneaky. <laughs> all right, so here's my idea, guys. Here's the thought behind it. If a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm. What about if a shop exists on the server and Mayor Scar can't find it, can it really be taxed? Hmm. Hmm. These are the questions we need to ponder in life, guys. <laughs> I am very proud to announce that Sneaky Ease is now officially open for anybody that can find it. Uh, it's up over here. And yeah. <laughs> it's made entirely out of shulker boxes, which only have a certain render distance, along with signs. And we got an ender chest in here. Our ATM, like Cub uh, suggests, everybody has. Uh, so it says, buy now. Once sold out, items will not be restocked. So people know, now is the time to buy it. Our stuff is going to be disappearing, and then the shop gets torn down, guys. That's it. We build it somewhere else and restock it with different items. So this is our one diamond per two stacks category. We got a lot of black stone in here. I want to try to sell that before the updates. We're still on the older version, where uh, you can't get that from piglins. We got some bone blocks in there for people from our wither skeleton farm. Then the, the good stuff here. One diamond per stack. Lots of coal blocks. We want to try to sell those. We're undercutting Ren on the logs. One diamond. He's charging two. Mm-hmm. That's how this works. So people know if they see stuff in my store, they got to buy it. Best price in town. Uh, eight diamonds per stack. We got lots of beacons for sale and a bunch of other random stuff here, that, which I thought people might like. Oh, and best of all, we didn't have to pay any fees, guys. There's no road fee up here. Uh -uh. No land fee. We can even take advantage of the shops below us for our convenience. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, so the idea behind this was, uh, you know, people, they, they built specific shops for things. We got a red zone, red zone for redstone and concrete and fancy lamp store. I didn't want to build like a, a competing shop exactly. I wanted to compete in a different way and try to do something fun. So this was uh, this is my idea for it, my my little gimmick for it, <laughs> without uh, totally shutting down another store either on the server. You know, that's that's something I want to avoid. Anyways, we are back at the base again. I thought it would be good to try get a little project done here. Oh, and by the way, I moved Sidekit over here. <laughs> that was a. That was a challenge. He got loose in the nether a couple times and almost uh, died. That was, that was crazy. Because he won't follow me. No, no, he's got a mind of his own. If he's not on that lead, he runs wherever he wants. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of getting comfortable at the base here, which isn't good. Because if I'm comfortable, it doesn't drive me to build more. But I got to just push myself and keep doing it. We're kind of at a weird place at the moment as well. Like where we got most of the rooms complete that we've built so far. And now we got to expand out further. And that raises a question, like, should we try change up the block pellets or keep it much the same? I think we'll try change it a little bit if we can. And I'm just going to build something here. I don't have a grand plan in mind or anything. Just uh, we got to get started and see what happens with it, <laughs> honestly. Mm, you know, I got an idea, actually. Now that we got all these bones, basically infinite bones, right? Why don't we build a bamboozler? That's something we're going to need for the super smelter and just in general use for making scaffolding and stuff. That would be great. Um, yeah, let's put that over there and uh, see how that goes.
stuff. All right, so we got it put together here pretty quickly. Uh, if you don't know, the bamboozler is a bamboo farm. Uh, it's just one single plant, and we use bone meal to grow it instead of like relying on the random tick growth. I can't click those. I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, this is actually a farm I built in my single player. We made a quad version over there. This is just the single, which uh, should be sufficient. And because it's only a single, we're able to display it a bit more prominently. So normally, or in my single player, I built it below ground. This one's above ground, and we can see it functioning that way. So let's give it a try here. Hit the button to start it up. So it bone meals the bamboo, and then the pistons break it. There's some glass blocks connected to them. And you can see the bamboo floats up and then falls down, like so. And uh, we get it pretty quickly. It's not bad. So then the idea is we can use this to craft sticks or to make scaffolding or uh, whatever else we might need it for. And then we can send this somewhere else in our base, like to a super smelter as fuel. And all it uses to grow is uh, bone meal, so it's, it's easy. Right now, it's just falling down there, not doing anything. <laughs> All right, it's very loud though. That's the that's the one thing about it, and probably uh, pretty laggy. And uh, yeah, this is what we got going on in the back. Now I've covered this before, how to build it, so I don't want to go over it again. But basically, there's just six dispensers full of bone meal, and they all are pointing at the bamboo plant and and grow it all at once. And yeah, and we constantly break it. Oh, I fall down. Yeah, the tr tricky part with this is we have to use water, so that introduces a blue color. And that means uh, it doesn't necessarily look the best with what we have here, unless we do orange next to blue, maybe. But uh, kind of like the sandstone next to it, too. So that's what uh, we went for here. Might change it up a bit. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the deal. Now let's go check something out over here. Um, while building, I stumbled across this. It says, Mysterious Button. Press it. Oh, uh-huh. At first I didn't. I just walked past it. Because I, I know that trick. You press it and you die. <laughs> uh, but it might, not, it might not be a trap. Let's let's give it a try here. Oh, it's a, it's a green head. Psst. Join the upside down. Oh. It's empty. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think uh, green, he's been building in the nether. He's building like... Uh, his, his mansion upside down and like nether themes. Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like we got an invite. Okay, so it goes down to a dropper. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Um, So <laughs> I don't actually know the coordinates to it. I'm going to have to figure that out, I guess. Uh, But yeah, what do you guys think about that? Should we join the upside down crew? I think there's a few people building there and they're just building like nether theme stuff upside down. Could be a lot of fun. Uh, probably won't be building farms over there because we're doing that at that nether base, but maybe some kind of kind of build. I was thinking about maybe building our Enigmatica 2 house over there or, and uh, trying to build that upside down and changing out the block pellet to make it nether themed. Like maybe we switch out the great wood for blackstone or nether bricks and uh, the hempcrete for basalt. And I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Maybe... Ideas for a block pellet would be great beyond that, because I'm not sure what else we would do. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of what I'm thinking, because I actually don't know how to build upside down, like, from scratch. I need to have it pre-built and then flip it, or uh, my, my mind will explode. Oh, snappers, it looks like a bunch of mini games are popping up at the gaming district. That is great to see. You know, I was worried a little bit. You know, you build things, and you don't know if people are actually going to use them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, people are using them. That's, that's awesome. I got a couple ideas for games here as well. We just haven't got around to them yet, so maybe sometime soon. But uh, yeah, today's going to be an extra long episode. Hope you guys enjoy that because the standoff tournament. That's right. So eight people have joined the standoff games, and that means three wins to victory for wh whoever wins it. And I'll give you guys just a quick little introduction to how the game works. Basically, each player gets a bunch of armor stands. You knock them around with the swords. There's knockback one and knockback two. And if you're sprinting, you can hit even farther. So that's like four different uh, distances with the swords. Um, and the goal is to knock out all your opponent's armor stands by having your armor stands overlap theirs, the base plate of it, uh, on your turn. 
And there's also a bunch of different power-ups, double move, precision shots, take their turn, switch spots, and retreat that you can use tactically to move around the board and yeah, get like bonus turns and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Hello, Etho. Are you ready for battle? I am prepared for my defeats. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I've had zero practice at this, so... <laughs> I got a little <laughs> bit of practice. I got to, I experienced my first defeat with Cub Fan during a, a practice game. Um, cool, cool. So you know how to lose then, I guess. Yeah, I'm very experienced in that, yeah. Sweet, that, that <laughs> works for me. <laughs> I'm lowballing it, so when I defeat you, it's going to be all that much more delightful. That, that is fine too. I literally have no <laughs> expectations here. That way. Ooh, a little punt. Okay, okay. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tempt you. you. I'm going to tempt you with that one. You, you have tempted me, to be honest. <laughs> I, I'm going to try the, it. I got the bait in place. Oh, darn. I was hoping you wouldn't oh, actually do it. <laughs> and the bait works. Yeah. I didn't okay, actually so... want you to do it because I thought it was possible. <laughs> so is that you You dead now? Like, I yeah, so uh, you, you knocked me out and uh, that's your first piece done. Oh, that did oh. not work out. Nah, but... you know what? I'm going to play defensive. I want to see what you do. Okay. So I'm okay. going to take the, where is it, retreat? Do I just move it back, I guess? You move it back and then you take your turn. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, there's no way you can get me with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was no way. I feel like this is doable, though. I could be a fool. Mm, eventually. Oh. Oh, oh it, didn't, it, it didn't do it, no! <laughs> I would precision you know shot here. I, I'm gonna try it, but I don't know how to do it. Wait, oh wait, how do I do this? Okay, okay. You got it, you got it. Is, is it if I stand close? Really Your funny? distance matters a lot with it, yeah. Hmm. And I don't know exactly where you'd want to stand. Oh, you got hey. it! Okay. That's actually pretty precise. <laughs> This is and then going, I'm defeating you. <laughs> this is going uh, just swimmingly. <laughs> one of these is gonna work. Oh, oh I got one you actually. Got it. Okay, that was a bad move by me. I think it's still anyone's game. Oh yeah, it can, can flip okay. back and forth. I'm out. It I'm would make gonna... it so so much easier. Oh, oh. really? <laughs> I gotta hook my guy. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta just take it from far away. There we go. Yeah. It really does. You know, yeah, it's a really good power up. Oh. oh. No. Oh no. Nope, not nope, quite. Nope. But you've not got any precision shot. I've got so. the precision shot though. Um. <laughs> I think I'm close enough where I can maybe take out some of your other guys though. <laughs> oh, it's overlapping. Oh, it's overlapping. Yeah, yes. It is. That was nice. That was a close one. Uh. Oh, nice. Oh, Nicely yes. done. What are we? Three versus three now? Three v three, yeah. yeah I'm gonna... There's no tactic, by the way, from what I'm doing. <laughs> Just like... Mm, I got a moderate maybe. tactic, but not really a good one. Oh, you're going farther away? I think I gotta, stay, I gotta tempt you a little that bit. Too. Oh, that one's Oh, that me. is tempting. <laughs> I feel like, okay, strategically, let me explain this. I think this is a good move for me to go for you, because even if I miss, I don't think any of your other guys can get me now. That is true. I think I'm safe to do it. That. So I'm going to give it a whack. Oh, that was horrible. I'm going to yeah. I thought it would get closer. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so bad. Yep, you did, didn't yep, you? Yeah, we got it. Just barely. You know what? I'm going to take double move. But it's a Maybe risky play because then your guy's going to be all on his own. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I get that. Yeah, I think that's doable. Oh, you got it. Nice. Oh, okay. And I moved your one as well. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep him where he lands. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my double move. I don't think I want to get him like right next to your guys. I'm going to like aim away. I'm going to try a knockback to no sprint. Ooh. Oh, I think that Ooh. counts. I think that does count. Just yeah, by a got sliver. It. Just about. Blimey. <laughs> oh, I gotta sleep. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna switch spots. Wait, no, we, we can just move hel helmets, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Right there. Switch spots. <laughs> oh, I see. You okay. Go. See what I've done? Yeah. You ever play chess when you're like at the end of the game and you gotta like slowly move your guys towards the king? You know what? I've never played chess. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Which is why I thought I'd be bad at this game, right? Is it my go? Yeah. Oh. Oh! Did I, did I do it? Oh, no, no it's again. so close, oh. though. Whew. Whew. Okay, you've got this one, definitely. <laughs> you haven't? No. Wait, what did you do? I think I should have used the other one. Uh, this is this would be a precision shot win right here. No, I'm gonna do this. Oh. Okay. You still had retreat. I still got retreat. Oh, and then you can play. You know what? That's that's smart. I think this is the time to use it. Let's go for. What guy are you retreating? <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the closer guy actually. All right, here we go. Knock back one, not two this time. Let's see. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> So that means I hit yours and then I hit mine, right? So I'm gonna go with that. With that. Ooh, <laughs> it's pretty close. Oh, no. Switch, yeah, that one and the one closest to yours, surely. I think I want to switch this one. Or that one. Okay. That works. Too. I think that's the idea. And <laughs> then I'm gonna try knockback two super shot here. Yes! That's it! Game <laughs> oh, <over>. GG! <laughs> I knew you had that one. Oh, GG. That was, that was, that good. was a good, good battle. Yeah. And you that still was have fun, one actually, power up left as well. Which one was left? I got uh, Take Their Turn left, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd have definitely got it with that as well. Woo! You Whoa. know, if you, if you miss a couple times, though, it's it gets scary in this game. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, so that was a fun game with False, and uh, we move on in the tournament. The next game we have to face Cub Fan in. And he's very good. <laughs> uh, and uh, actually, I'm behind on my uploads, so I've actually played that game already. I'm going to squeeze it in this episode, and then uh, that's going to be it for this one. So I hope you enjoy it. Etho, hello, my friend. Hello, Cub. Second so, round. Second round. Stand We're off. both back here once again. You uh, ready for this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right all i'm right. just having flashbacks to that, that practice we did together and you just dominated oh yeah 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 the that was good practice yeah. I, I was feeling good about that one <laughs> all right let's uh Are let's place start? our guys uh we do a little punt from the left side all right Ooh, oh good shot one. wow try to come back here and make sure not hit the other ones Ooh. Ooh. oh what come on okay okay this sword regulation strength or what? Gosh. <laughs> I think, um... Oh, man. I don't know the distances still. I'm gonna try and knock back two. Okay. No, oh. it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough, Cub. Might have to go with the precision shot here. Ooh. Nice. There we go. Five on five. Five on five. Hunt. This is gonna be risky, but I'm gonna do take your turn. Before I hit mine, I hit, I hit yours yep. first. Okay, so... But if you miss mine and he's like on your side, then it's the same problem again where I'm gonna True, true. And I think you can take out your own guys when you when you do that too if you're not careful. Oh yeah, that's true. I'll try. Nice. Yeah, yeah nice. right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that too. Take your turn. Okay. That, right. I'm not too confident with that actually. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Which one? Which one now? You got a decision to make. <laughs> oh, just a bit just too, far. too far. I got, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. No. Are you, are you doing the knockback knock two one. or one or one with loose? I'm gonna try the one. I'm gonna try the one. Okay. One's not gonna do it. <laughs> oh, it's too far. But that was one with sprint, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, you're gonna hate this cub. I'm gonna precision oh, no. shot you. No. You don't even have to think about this one. Can I get the two? Can I get the I two gotta for... get the double. Play of the day right here. And it would be. It would be. Oh, oh well yes. done. Yes, well yes. done. Two for one. I missed it. Did you go or are you still thinking? Oh, uh, yeah, you're up. Yeah, I moved this uh, this okay. guy up. I'm going to double move you. Now, I don't think this will connect, but if it does, I could potentially get a two for one. Oh. No, not enough. Oh. Not quite, not quite. Now it's in that but weird in-between distance. I think I want to do this guy, because if I miss, it'll kind of be in an awkward spot for your two guys. Right. Okay, oh, it works. Shot. Okay, I'm thinking I can capture this guy with the knockback one. Oh! No! No! No, it's no good! Oh, man, I think I think if it aligned against this block, it would have, though. Like, no matter what. 
Uh, quick question. If I hit one of your guys, are we like adjusting it or is it going to land where it lands? I think we just say it lands where it lands. Uh, I kind of think if I do the exact same thing, I'll hit the wall as well. Oh, yep. 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 Oh, yep. Well done. Well done. Down to my final guy. If I hit this guy over this way... <laughs> it should hit the wall as well, I think. You'd think. I'm afraid it's going to well, hit the it wall might, and just it might ride slide. it down. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to say. Unless it hits like the very top up here. I don't I'm, think it I'm goes that it. high, though. I'm going to try it. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice. Although you got to deal with the Wandering Trader. He's on my side, I think. <laughs> He's definitely in, in the way. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to do a switcher spots. This guy's <laughs> going to be all on his own now. No yep. man town. Kind of useless. Your guy over here, and then I'm gonna do a knockback to win for the win. Oh, oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, that, that was that was a risky move. That yeah. was a risky move. I'm still down by two armor stands though, so this could be but interesting. You're right. you're right in the think, den now. I think I might have to pull out the double move. First move. This is big. Yeah, he gets it. Right, okay. Now the question is, am I gonna hit this block <laughs> when I hit this one? <laughs> I hit this one back. Some wall mechanics going on here. Mm. It's actually probably good if you hit the wall, actually, because otherwise you'll go yeah. far. Oh, I don't like this at all. But if it messes up, that's like an easy hit for me then. What do you What do you got? You got retreat still. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. Right here. Low tap. Ooh, oh, no. so close. <laughs> oh. You ready for this, Cub? Ready for it. Ready for it. I'm going to bank on the wall. Yeah, I think you got it. I think you got this one. Oh, yep, you yeah. got it. Just barely. Well done. Almost knocked yours out, too. Well done, man. Well done. GG. GG. That was G -G like a me. highly tactical <laughs> game there. That was. that was. That was good. This guy kind of added a little element of uh, chaos into it as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, man. Well done. Good luck in the uh, in the finals, then. I guess you move on to the uh, the championship. Yep. Well, thank you.